things like I'm having a productive day today so let's go through and declutter some of my eyeshadow palettes in my first drawer so this is this drawer it's the least pretty one so let's get started this is the xx revolution um carrot eyeshadow palette really pretty shimmers they look really nice on the eyes but i'm gonna pass this on the i heart revolution peachy palette i actually really enjoy this one so i'm gonna keep it then here we have my depotted bloodlust palette from jeffree star um i no longer support him but this is like my favorite purple palette so i'm not getting rid of it then we have the Labelle Magnifique. I've only used this once, um, but I just, I don't reach for it. And I think someone else could really love it more. Their pigments, though, are incredible. Then we have the Ace Beauty Flare Palette, which was gifted by a friend. But even without the sentimental reasons, I fucking love this thing. It's amazing. Then we have Huda Mercury Retrograde, which, as you can see, I'm not even panning this and, like, it's one of my favourite palettes, like top five in my collection, so this is definitely staying. I'm undecided about this Makeup Addiction Sinful Ice palette because I do really love some shades, but not all of them. So this one is undecided. This is the Makeup Addiction Meadow palette. I'm definitely keeping this one. I love the shimmers. This blue, not the biggest fan of um, these two mattes, but all the rest I love, so I'm keeping this one. Now, I don't actually like ABH just formula of eyeshadow but i really like this palette so the jackie Anna palette is staying then this is the i heart revolution violet palette which i'm keeping um probably until the end of the year i'm not sure i just want to get some more use out of it the peanut butter um from i heart revolution i've done some really pretty looks with this but i'm gonna declutter this the hot dog palette i love but i'm keeping it specifically for this shade because i love the shade so i think as soon as i hit pan or finish that one I can let go of this palette because they're not that unique. The Tasty Pizza palette is also really good. Love that shade. But I think I'm actually going to let go of this one. Letting go of the mint chocolate as well. I'm not even sure I've used the cotton candy one. So that is a clear sign that this needs to go. Once again, I've done some really pretty looks with this, the Macaroons palette. But I don't reach for it and I'm not very inspired by it currently. So I'm going to let this one go. The coffee palette is so pretty, but I'm letting go of this one as well. Letting go of Vera Pooches as well. But look how cute the packaging is. This foil frenzy palette definitely staying some of my favourite shimmers. The Reloaded Hypnotic, I think someone else could really get some more use out of this other than me. This palette from MUA, I really love the colour story, but I think I can let this one go. This one I kind of want to keep for sentimental reasons because my mum got it for me. So this and one is the have Unloaded Euphoria, which is really pretty, but I have other rainbow palettes. This one is really good, so I'm going to give it to someone. This is the Reloaded Visionary. I love this shade and that shade, but I can't keep it just because of them. So I'll declutter this. The Iconic Division, getting rid of this one. And then this random one from Bulgaria. I only kept around because it was my mum got it for me, but I think it's time to let this one go. I think I did really well in this draw. Getting rid of all those. <laughs> Natasha Denona Gold Palette. This is staying because this is £111. Then the Sunrise Palette. I love the mattes. Don't love the shimmers, but I'm keeping this. The Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm. I'm actually going to keep this because the matte shades and the shimmers are like really easy to use. So I don't like bomb ass and lolly but and really siren i don't think i've used siren but it's really easy to reach for this when i'm in a rush just got this yesterday i love it not getting rid of it all my naked palettes got the original naked this is just a classic of course i'm keeping this naked two i'm keeping this booty call is like my favorite um brow bone highlighter shade i love this palette this is so underrated now, the one I don't like is the Naked 3, so going to give this to a friend. Then we have the Naked Smoky, which I also think is an underrated palette. And when I do cool tone looks, this is my go-to and I'm obsessed with it. Then we have the Naked Heat, which I'm keeping. Also keeping Naked Cherry. Also Naked Honey. I mean, look at it. Next, I have some Colourpop and Makeup Geek Single Shadows. Love this little palette. We have this green palette from Milani is great but i don't use it so i think i'm gonna pass it on to a friend hello i actually really love this palette 
Then we have Cute AF. I think I'm just going to depot some of the shadows that I really do use and then put them into the just the magnetic palette and then throw away the actual packaging because it's old. Now the California Love is one of my all-time favorite neutral palettes. Obviously this is staying. Then we have Nude Mood. This is staying. Blush Crush is also staying even though I can basically only do one look with this palette. Going Coconuts is staying. Aha uh -huh, Honey is staying. Again, Baby Got Peach isn't the most diverse, but I also found that I don't have many peach shades, so that's staying. Aren't you glad? Staying, love this. Decluttering Main Squeeze, it's good, but I'm kind of sick of reds. Can't believe I'm going to declutter just my luck, but I found that I actually have better green palettes, and I don't really reach for this, so declutter. This is my Blue Moon, and I have moved shades around put some other shades from colourpop in so this is a pretty perfect blue palette for me so i'm keeping it three lilac you a lot is one of my favorite like purple palettes and from colourpop so i'm keeping this i'm undecided about it's my pleasure but i haven't used it enough so i'm gonna keep this for a little while longer and we move on to my huda got toffee brown obsessions this is basically new to my collection so keeping it keeping caramel brown as well nude light that shade is one of my favorites out of my whole collection i'm obsessed with it the nude medium which is probably my favorite of the mini obsessions this one the rich nude i'm undecided about but i think i'm gonna do it as like a pan that palette but i'm keeping it gold obsessions i love it i'm keeping it gems gemstone obsession i'm decluttering this my three neons i'm using them more and more recently and i love them i'm keeping them all now the pastel lilac i'm not the biggest fan of um don't really like them but they're so pretty i think i'm going to keep it on for a little while longer maybe try and use up the two or three shimmers that i actually like mint pastels again i'm keeping more for the shimmers i've got this dior quad and surprisingly i freaking love this so much like this middle shade ah oh, so bomb keeping this then we've got my elf little quads i'm getting rid of the top two and keeping the bottom two We've got the Beauty Bay Pastels, which I want to play with some more. Don't really have that many pastels in my collection. We have this palette from So Sue Jackson, which is actually really cute. And I dip into the dark greens quite often. Then we have the Feminine Palette from Urban Decay. This is one of the first palettes. I think it's the first palette I bought when I first started working. So it's very sentimental, but I think it's time for me to let it go, which makes me so, so sad. These are the ones I'm getting rid of from that drawer, which I think is really good considering like these are like my everyday favourite palettes. Here is my other e.l.f. one. As you can see, I'm panning this. So I'm keeping it until I finish. I think those two shades, the one I have pan. Then we have my blood sugar palette, which is my pan that palette because I don't support Jeffree Star, but I paid a lot of money for this. So I'm panning it, but I'm kind of sick of it. Um, so I don't know, I might declutter it before the end of the year in the project. And then this is probably my favourite bit. I've got Demi Glow um, Single Shadows, which a friend of mine sent over. I've got my With Love Cosmetics Glitters. Got some single shadows. These single shadows from Chaos Dirt. So I love this. It's like I mix these with um, other palettes to make them more exciting, mainly when I'm panning um, a product for a long time fiery 2.0 from beauty bay i absolutely am obsessed with this palette i love it that's why it sits here on top of my desk and do not sleep on the beauty bay palettes because they're so good and then the bright matte when i want to do a colorful eyeshadow look this got basically everything i would want part four we've got my beauty bay and nikki tutorials palette one of my all-time favorite palettes keeping this this is new to my collection but i'm really enjoying it super unique obviously keeping book of magic it's stunning keeping moon spell love this these are more of my like recent palettes so of course i'm still a lot in love with them then we've got another z palette these are shades from conspiracy and like other jeffree style palettes that i've decluttered but kept a few shades from and then some sample beauty um single shadows which i haven't used yet but i kind of constantly go through my single shadows and my magnetic palettes so they're currently like up to date with what i actually use and want life's a drag such an underrated palette i love this androgyny i'm mainly keeping because safe word is an amazing contour and charm is an amazing blush and frosting is an amazing highlighter so that's basically why i'm keeping this palette i wish blue blood wasn't one of the best blue palettes i have but it is so for now i'm keeping it keeping all three of my Kalidos 
mini palettes because this brand is so underrated but so good the gold label mombasa palettes i'm keeping this for sentimental value because this is the first thing i received in pr we've got mac rocking rebel which is actually quite good so i, I was going to declutter this but i'm going to keep it this pure little palette is actually really good but i don't reach for it so i'm going to declutter it the urban decay beached palette so good keeping it but the packaging is kind of annoying but still keeping it the sample beauty prodigy palette amazing love it then we move on to my little shelf of palettes these are the last palettes so let's try and get through them i've got my three pumpkin palettes pumpkin spice extra spicy and gingerbread spice i love all three of these keeping them and then fantasy eyeshadow palette from shop brown melanin makeup absolutely love this such an underrated brand then we have this palette from unicorn cosmetics which i love this shade and the other shimmers but i don't reach for it so i think i'm going to get rid of it the thirsty palette is actually really hard to let go of so i think i'm going to keep it for a little while longer keep in my norvina one which is actually really good but i'm going to get rid of the painter's palette because it's so disappointing i was I have so many other sample beauty palettes which are incredible but this one was so bad then we got this from lick and lash which i am keeping and i need to use it more keeping so jaded because it's one of my favorite palettes actually of all time i'm gonna declutter this one the once i've actually done some really pretty looks with this but i don't use it as often as i want this tammy palette is so good i'm keeping it this is the last thing i bought from jeffree star and i kept it because it was really unique to my collection and it's basically brand new but i'm gonna pass it as on. i was saying i need to look into getting actual um more cool toned gray shadows in my collection because this palette is amazing but i'm gonna give it to a friend jawbreaker is one of my all-time favorite palettes so i'm keeping this one the morphe x jeffree star is actually a really good palette so i'm keeping it the original morphe and jaclyn hill freaking love this thing so much then we've got volume two which i need to use more but i'm keeping it those middle shades are like really unique to my collection i think so i'm keeping it we've got the morphe 35 v which is actually really good so i'm keeping it keeping the 35 h as well these are relatively new so keeping the 35 c such an underrated palette i love this i'm actually going to keep the 3502 um because i want to pan it and then the 03 which i think i'm going to pass on the formula in this is absolutely incredible but i feel like i get the same look every time i use it so i'm gonna give this away then we have the 35b which i loved when i got but it's expired now so i'm gonna throw this one away i'm keeping the carnival 3 i use it all the time the bh cosmetics naughty palette is one of the best recent releases so i'm keeping this one of my favorite palettes beauty bay identity it's so good keeping it i need to use this a lot more i think i've used it maybe three or four times origin palette so good keeping it so in that row i got rid of five and it already looks much better this one is going to be much more cutthroat i've got the elf retro paradise which is a beautiful color story but the formula isn't that great same with earth and ocean i kind of hate this formula so I'd definitely get rid of this one we have decadent which is kind of all right but i don't reach for it so getting rid of this decluttering flamboyance but i am going to keep this rainbow one because some of the shades are actually okay then we have the original soap palette i was absolutely obsessed with this but the formula has gone off so i would actually repurchase this but not now but it's amazing so um i love this but mine has gone off because it's a couple years old so i'm getting rid of it same thing with the extra spice i love this palette but i definitely noticed when the formula changed that silver is one of the best i've ever used then we have tammy tropical paradise really underrated in my collection um because when i use it i love it so i'm keeping this one and i'm also keeping tropical carnival i've created so many beautiful looks with this then we have the roxy ride or die some shades in here are absolutely beautiful but i'm not in love with every single one of them um, but i'm gonna hang on to this one and declutter the color burst which makes me so sad because this had so much potential in terms of color six i think this is gonna be the last one 
we have the Makeup Revolution Jack Palette, which is so special to me because I wore it on my graduation. Um, and it is really good, so I do need to use it a lot more. And I say that a lot because I have a lot of eyeshadow. This treasure chest from Barry M is so underrated. I'm like, when I got it, I was shocked at how good it was. So this is staying. I mean, do you see those shimmers? Keeping the Manny X Makeup Geek. Now it's a turn for my BH Cosmetics. I love the shimmers in this, but I don't love the mattes. So I think we're going to pass this one on. Kind of the same thing here, but I'm going to hang on to the sh for the shimmers, basically. Trendy in Tokyo. I've only used this a few times, so I'm going to keep a hold of it. Summer in saint -Tropez, I absolutely love. Like, the shimmers are some of my favourites. Beautiful in Barcelona. I just am not vibing with this colour story. I used it once, I think, so I'm just going to declutter it. Hanging in Hawaii is my favourite one, so I'm keeping this one. Now, this is really bad because I absolutely forgot I had this. But I love it, so I'm keeping it. I don't think you can buy this one anymore, but it's such an underrated palette. And I love it when I use it. Now my two juvious place. I love the colour story of this one. And the shimmers in this one, so I'm keeping both. Even though I wish I could mix and match and kind of get rid of one. And Morphe Maddie Ziegler. This was an impulse buy, as you can see I've barely used it, so I'm decluttering this. Sample Beauty Equalizer Volume 2. One of the most beautiful palettes I own. And it's really good quality, so I'm keeping it. Then I have the Game of Thrones and Urban Decay, which I will be decluttering. Because I've loved it when I've used it, but I'm not even a fan of Game of Thrones. And I don't reach for this very often, so I think someone else could really love it. And then finally, we have the Born to Run from Urban Decay, which is really good. But I don't reach for it, so I'm going to pass this on to someone who will. And then most of my single shadows, so let's quickly go through them. Declutter declutter even though it's really good i haven't actually used this one so i'm going to keep it this nars shadow in coconut grove is the best dark brown shadow keeping it this nyx shadow in blue jeans haven't used it so i'm gonna give it someone else i used to love this one but i'm gonna throw it away because i think it's gone off these are from essence keeping both of them this mac one is going back to mac because it just isn't that good this one is also going back to MAC. Remember when this one was all the biggest rate? I'm keeping it because it's still really good. Woodwinked is still really good and I've gotten a lot of use out of it. Raw Cocoa is going back to MAC. Keeping all that glitters. Keeping Naked Lunch. And I'm keeping Gesso. Keeping this one I like to watch. It's one of my all-time favourites. It's a Dazzle Shadow. Also keeping this one. 